Hi babies. Hello beautiful Libra babies. We're halfway through your season. I'm in the midst of some kind of um, irritation. I don't know if there's like pollen in my hair that as I began fussing with it um, was released but all of a sudden I feel like this pressure in my sinuses and an urge to sneeze but it's not coming yet so look for that that may be in your future this video is a video for those whose sun moon or rising was in the sign of libra at the time of their birth or you're interested in what's up with the libra that may be important in your life um we're talking about the cosmic weather update for the week of October 5th, 2020. You can catch the rest of this reading on the YouTube channel. Okay, so this is just the preview. Um, here's what's up with Libra this week. Let's just get right into it. For one thing, you can find all of this and more on my blog on the website lightgoddessalchemy.com. From my muse to you is the uh, name of the page that has the blog posts. And there's a spiel about the collective energy um, for right now as well, which you might like to read. It's for everyone. And then I've also written out the um, cosmic weather report by sign, okay? Or typed it out. When I channel the information, I write it down with a pen and paper and then I like to type it up and put it into a blog format and then also like to make videos to share with you here so that we feel a bit more connected. Um, you can hear my voice and see my face, which feels like a special thing during this sort of mask time that we're in. It's nice to see people's faces. And anyway, so here we are making the connection and it's nice to listen to a video while we multitask, but perhaps you want to get the info as well. So go check out the blog if you want. Um, Monday. Monday is today. Monday may be moody and broody, not just for you, um, but this could kind of just be out there. The energy will pick up for you. In particular, I like Wednesdays. Schedule meetings and important phone calls for Wednesday this week. Use this day to convey messages as you use your connections and knowledge of how these things work. So this is specific to you. This is not advice that I would give to just anyone, right? Libra, you have an understanding of how these things work, particularly when it comes to government, politics, diplomacy, this is your area. And I know that right now people have a lot of concerns about what's going on politically and a lot of concerns about the opinions of other people. You have an understanding for how these things work. Bring that to a project, um, something that you are collaborating with others on. Bring that knowledge and then share with folks, especially if you can bring it while staying in compassion for them that this is not their skill set, it's yours, right? And that it's okay because we all have different strengths and weaknesses. It's really the time of sharing our strengths so that we can get something done for the collective while also supporting those who need help and assistance in whatever way that they have their own weaknesses. It's time to stop pretending that we don't have weaknesses. It's time to accept that everyone has a thing, right? That they need support around. And to for all of us to be willing to accept that about each other and then show up with our various strengths to um, make things better. Okay. By Sunday, you may find difficulty with a Sagittarius or Sagittarius type energy who is trying to make their way within oppressive structures of government but is having difficulty and getting really frustrated. There's an additional expression of this energy that could pop off on Friday and a standoff of feminine and masculine polarities. The feminine asking for more nurturing, more intuition, more inclusivity, where the masculine standpoint is decisive action and just getting something done because we need to take action. That can feel really uncomfortable and I'm glad for you to be present for this type of discord because 
with your strengths and skill set, we may actually be able to move through it and take care of everyone. Um, okay, getting as much networking, communication, and laying the groundwork done now before Mercury retrograde next week, which is on October 13th and plan for how you get to use your birthday new moon so no matter when the exact date is that you have your birthday libra and i'm thinking right now of a couple of special libras close to my heart one is my old boss christy who had a birthday yesterday and another is my sister sarah whose birthday is coming up on the 7th but looking ahead further next week on um october 16th there is a new moon in your sign and this is such a beautiful time for manifesting and planting seeds and my encouragement to you is to consider how you will use your birthday new moon to plant seeds for how you can be well in this world as it is and planting some seeds for wellness and considering that wellness is far more than just our physical wellness that we're considering here we're talking also about emotional, mental, and energetic wellness. And that's it for you, Libra. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.